You heard a doctor say earlier the brain is the most sophisticated machine there is in the body. One of its critical functions, of course, is memory. But what exactly is memory? And how does dementia and Alzheimer's rob people of their precious memories and keep new ones from being made? Everybody forgets things a little bit. People can forget a name, can forget where they put the keys. And, but we're looking for a major change in their cognition and their memory. In the past, we used to think that our elders could forget things and it was normal. Now we know that most of our elders that have memory problems at that time had Alzheimer's disease. There is no normal memory loss with aging. What's memory? It's a great question. Uh, memory is how really we as a person, as an individual person, live our lives. Without memory, there's no continuity in who we are and what we do. Look at me, how many fingers? Two. Two. And it was very important for me to know Five. the possibility of having Alzheimer's, dementia. If you have no memory, you can't even recognize that you're in a conversation that is part of a process over the last hour. Our brains are designed to store memories and retrieve those memories. It's very important that we both put those memories in, in the bank so that we can actually code them and that we can recall them. And people who develop memory loss sometimes have difficulty putting down new memory tracks and sometimes they have difficulty bringing back the memories. And when both of those are affected, it can be quite devastating. How are you today? I'm fine. Are you fine? What are we doing? Taking pictures of me. We are taking oh pictures God. of you. You're absolutely right. We're helping people around the world learn about dementia to help their families learn about how difficult it is. What are we doing right now? What are you doing? What reading the paper. Reading the oh. paper. Do you like to read? Mom, do you like to read? I like to read. Read. Do you know what you're reading about? Do you know what that is? Do you know who this person is right here in this picture? Who is this person? That's me. Oh. This is Mom. That's oh, mom. Wow. That's you. We Beautiful. love having this picture of mom on the table to remember. Yes. What's interesting is that in the early to mid stages of Alzheimer's disease, patients have the ability to retrieve long term memories but cannot form new ones. I suspect that may be protein based. And if we can figure out what is the mechanism that's damaged that stops you from forming new memories but remains undamaged, allowing you to retrieve old ones. That would be a major advance. Pretty young chick you got for a wife. There, you huh? bet. Yeah. Wow. He doesn't remember a lot of short-term stuff, but he remembers, you know, some of the names and definitely the faces. Dad's memory is obviously diminished to the point where, you know, he's at sometimes almost childlike. You know, it's, he can be uh, really funny, but he can be he can get get agitated as well. I mean, it, it, it can be very difficult, you know, especially on my mom, because he repeats things a lot. But it can also be, he can be very tender at times, too. You have to recognize that with age, your memory goes away. I, I can see it. Uh, there are things I, I can't remember anymore. I, at one, uh, one time, I could remember all the things that I did. I can't remember those things any longer. There probably is a professional name for it, but it's just the fact that I have a hard time remembering. It hurts because I remember all the, the good times and the things we did, and now I, I, I can't remember that. I, I'm, I'm thinking, now what? What did we do? Where did we go? But it doesn't pop up. He has to stay in the hospital. 
She wasn't in the hospital. Yeah, she, yeah, no. she was walking around with us. No. <laughs> I don't think she ever went back to the hospital. I'll show you a picture. That is her in the hospital. Well, Staples in her head and everything. She's not ready to come home. Did you see her head? Yeah, but... Look, at, see? She's not ready to come I, home. I, I know. I'm going to stay here tonight, and I'm going to take you back to see Mom tomorrow. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, my memory is a shot. <laughs> Pretty much. It's important for all our child, children, because they, they, they know what my mode is, that I don't have a good memory. I have a hard time remembering things, and they're concerned about it. What's it like? Um, I feel uncomfortable with, um, um, I have, a, I have a hard time sometimes um, reaching for the, 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 the like right now. Um, if I want to say something, sometimes the, the, the words don't come to me. I'm Lisa Dengiz. And I'm Alan Dengiz. Uh, I am uh, 60, no, uh, how am I, 60? Uh, 68. 68, yeah. You'll 60. be 69 in yeah. September. That's right, 69 and in September, that's right. I started feeling like I was not um, doing as good a job as I should be. And so I went and saw Hank Paulson, and I said, something's wrong. I don't know exactly what it is, but I think it's a, a cognitive problem. And so he said, well, let's do the full val um, evaluation. And it was so strangely ironic that my husband, who had spent his life treating older people, and many of whom had Alzheimer's, was now going to be walking that path. And that was pretty heartbreaking. I also knew <laughs> that if anybody could do it, um, it would be Alan, and that we would leave no stone unturned in trying to find things to do.